Good morning, everyone. This morning, I have a story to tell you, and it is a pretty crazy story. So, I'm sure a lot of you know the Mississippi River because that's pretty close to us. Well, where I grew up, there was also a river close to us. It was called the Ohio River. So, one day, there were some people out um, on the Ohio River, and you will never guess what they found. They found two blue whales. Now, do you know how big a blue whale is? It's really big. Some of you might remember this from a Sunday school class a while back. We had a string that measured how big a blue whale was, and we stretched that string all the way from our classroom, down the hall, down the stairs, and all the way to the nursery. So for today, I cut my own string, and it stretches all the way across my apartment four and a half times. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. How, how would something that big fit inside a river? It's pretty hard to believe. I think I might have to see it before I believe that. But the truth is, that never happened. A blue whale would not fit in, in the Ohio River. A blue whale would not fit in any river, especially not two blue whales. That story is actually an April Fool's joke that my mom heard on the radio once, and she believed that it was true. We still like to make jokes about it, but... So sometimes, <laughs> people believe those really crazy stories that you have to see to believe. But sometimes there are pretty crazy stories that are actually true, and maybe we don't believe them. This happened to Jesus' disciples. It was pretty hard for them to believe after Easter that Jesus had risen from the dead, that he had been resurrected. One of Jesus' disciples, his name was Thomas, he even said that unless I see the nail marks in his hands, the places where the nails were, because remember Jesus had been nailed to the cross, I will not believe. And Jesus came and he spoke to Thomas, and Thomas did touch that place where the nails were in Jesus' hands, and he did believe. But we don't always have to see to believe. Especially now, there are a lot of crazy things going on. It's pretty, it's pretty weird. We don't even leave our homes to go to school or to work. And when we do go out, maybe some people are wearing masks over their faces. We're not supposed to get close to people. It's really weird. And so it's especially important that we believe that Jesus is here walking with us through these really crazy times, even if we don't see him right next to us. But if you hear any stories about blue whales in the Mississippi River, that's a story you should not believe. Don't believe that one. <laughs> Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for this warm weekend the beautiful weekend to get outside and enjoy your creation. Help us to remember as we enjoy this time that you are with us always, even in the craziest of times, even when we can't see you and when we wish we could. Give us the strength to believe anyway. Amen. Sorry, I keep getting distracted by my kitty over here. She likes, she likes the yarn. I hope you liked my story too. Bye.